At long last, we have college football on a Saturday night. After the most tumultuous offseason of the sports history, two FCS powers led by talented rosters kick off the 2020 season in Montgomery, Alabama, 11th ranked Central Arkansas, taking on 13th ranked Austin P. as we welcome you to the 2020 Guardian Credit Union FCS kickoff on ESPN presented by Geico. Here's what we know about college football as of August 29th. Six FBS conferences plan to play this season. Four of them have postponed, most notably the Big Ten of the Pac-12 out of the Power Five and 15 of the 126 FCS programs plan to play. And with that, it is my honor to officially welcome you to the start of the 2020 college football season. Alongside Mike Golick Jr., I am Matt Berry. Third member of our team, Lawrence Sisler, is going to join us in a minute. But, Mike, for the last five months, we've had a few questions. Will they? Won't they? How will they? And tonight, we get to answer them. We get that answer because here we are now. Matt, I played a lot of night games. None of them feel quite as momentums as this one. We've been waiting, and we know for one certain thing, it's going to look unlike anything we've ever seen in college football history because of the COVID-19 pandemic. These are some of the protocols these teams will be dealing with throughout the season. Daily health screenings, most notably weekly testing. Both of these programs tested on Wednesday before they got on their buses to make the trip to Montgomery Alabama, so it's going to be a work in progress for every program in this country. It's going to be a work in progress, including for us. We can tell you tonight, 2,000 fans will be in attendance at the stadium socially distanced. We are going to be doing our broadcast from here in our studio in Bristol, Connecticut, but it doesn't mean it's not going to be fun talking ball for four hours, but Mike is a former college football player. This just adds another layer of responsibility to these players. The minute you step on any college football campus, you are worn out by the words accountability and discipline. They're everywhere plastered all over every part of your building. That took on a whole new meaning this summer. The COVID measures in place to help protect these athletes are something they had to adhere to and they held each other accountable for and they stayed disciplined to and so now they get the payoff for all that work this summer and a lot of that work has included drilling every possible scenario and situation in this who will be on the field who won't be on the field coaches players and tonight we don't know if it is COVID related but we do know that Austin P is going to have to respond early to not having one of their best players in the lineup yeah their preseason offensive player of the year D'Angelo Wilson their star receiver did not make the trip to Montgomery, Alabama. He will not play for the Governors tonight. Now, one of the big things everybody's going to be watching for, my goal, it's going to look like South football. It's going to sound like football. But what will the sidelines, what will everything encompass during tonight's game? For more on that, we send it to the third member of our team and Lauren Sisler. Lauren, good evening. Matt, there are a multitude of protocols here on the sidelines tonight to ensure the health and safety of everyone that is on this field. Most notably, you will see that every coach and every player will be wearing a mask and or a gaiter when not on the field of play. You will also see that the sidelines have been extended in the team area now to the 15 yard line. Plastic cups will also be used as opposed to water bottles to ensure they are disposed of after each use. And I'll tell you guys, after talking to the coaches and quarterbacks from each team this week, they are bought in, willing to follow every protocol and do whatever it takes to play the sport that they love. And tonight, they want to set a precedent for all of college football. Lauren, that is perfectly said. Jeremiah owns fall quarterback for Austin P. That's what he had to say about it. We want to set the tone for college football. As for Braylon Smith, look at this. Start quarterback Central Arkansas. He said, we know it's at stake. We're trusted to do the right thing. Sit tight, buckle up. College football returns after the break. The Guardian Credit Union FCS kickoff, presented on ESPN by GEICO, is brought to you by Arby's. Arby's, we have the meats. And Boost Mobile's all-new Shrinket Plan, a brand new way to mobile. Visit BoostMobile.com for more. C.J. Evans in the backfield. He's the true freshman. And right away, Oldsfall is going to keep it. Pitch it to Evans. Evans, a nice block outside. And Evans has room. C.J. Evans makes a guy miss. And you wanted college football. First play, touchdown, Governors. 75 yards. 
and Mike Golick Jr. How about that to kick off the 2020 season? Matt, it feels like we've been preparing for this game for a month leading up to this, and we could have prepared for every situation. What if I told you Austin P would kickstart your season with a little full house backfield speed option to the edge for a 70 plus yard touchdown? Is that something you might be interested in? You know what? If I was scripting this, I wouldn't have scripted it any better for that for Austin P. C.J. Evans, the true freshman, the quarterback back, Jeremiah Oatsfall in the first play of the game of the 2020 season. I hope that that's indicative of what we're about to see, not only tonight, but every Saturday now until the end of the year. Grant Paulette on the kick. It is good. And 16 seconds into the game, we have 7-0 Golick Jr. What a play here to begin. I incredible stuff. And we asked him, that's their offensive coordinator, would there be any hesitance to run Jeremiah Oatsfall considering he was injured on a design QB run? You see the cutback in the open field by C.J. Evans here. And let's get a shot of the big boys up front going to work on this. You see the cuts, the misdirection there, creating some hesitance by the linebackers. That pulling guard gets someone to sit there just long enough, a little too flat-footed, and all of a sudden, C.J. Evans, how about the true freshman out the gate, his first play in college football? A true freshman, and we know the running backs were gonna be a story for Austin Peay tonight. C.J., we said a true freshman, Brian Sneed, the transfer from Ohio State, he figures to add to the running game. But my guess if Evans Jr. is going to start his career with run rush, 75 yards, Crystal, he might be in there for quite some time. What a way to get this thing started.